Hi, Pastor Nathan Decker with your hashtag Better Together devotion for today. And this week I've been talking about what gift we can give to one another. What gift can we bring? What costly gift because of who we are as a people of faith, because of the divine that is shining within and reflecting from without. How can we be better together in Christmas and offer each other gifts? Well, one of the gifts we can share with each other is the gift of sacred space. And when I'm talking about this, I'm talking about the space to experience some of the holies that are happening around us. And, and sometimes that means even the moments of grief, the moments of loss, the moments of despair that people are enduring. A, a lot of the season this this time of year is all about holly and jolly and mistletoe. And, and sometimes that breaks hearts and has loneliness and it, it evokes other things. If we can offer each other the gift of holy, sacred, set-apart space that allows each other to, to not only experience the bright lights of Christmas, but also to experience the blue of Christmas, it's a wonderful gift to give each other. I remember the, one of the hardest years that I ever had. Uh, when I was in graduate school, I got divorced, and I worked retail, and I wasn't going to be able to go home to my, my mom and dad's house. I, I was very lonely during that season. And I had a friend named Ken, and Ken did the most wonderful thing that time of year for me. Ken would call me up every now and then and say, hey, Nathan, I know you're going through some stuff. I, I know this is hard as because it's Christmas and it's the season and, and I know who you are. So if you want to go out, let's go out. If you want to go out to dinner or hang out, let's hang out. If you want space alone, I want to offer you that, but I want you to know I'm caring about you and praying for you through it. You hear what he did there? He offered the space. There was no, uh, oh, you need to get out of your hug mug bug. Get, get off of that bah humbug brood. You, you need to just get over it and, and stop crying. He didn't do that. He offered me the opportunity to be with people or to not be with people. He offered me that holy space, that holy moments in which I could choose to be what I needed at that time and to, and to process with the losses and the griefs that I was enduring. This year, if you know people who are going through hard times, and from what I've gathered in my life as a, as a human being, not just as a pastor, but just as an everyday human being, almost every year people are going through some things. If you know people who are going through some things, call them up. Send them a text. Let them know you're thinking about them and offer them this gift. It costs you that time. It costs you giving up the choice of trying to manipulate or utilize who they are. But it offers this sacred space as a gift to them. Let them know, hey, I'm here for you. Let's go hang out if you want to hang out. Let's go shopping. Let's go do something. Let's go see Christmas trees. Let's, let's hang. Or if you need space without that this year, that's okay too, but know that I care about you and that I am praying for you. This is a holy gift. I challenge you to give it to them, to share this gift with each other. In Christ's name.